This morning I'm having a smoothie with orange, cucumber, carrots, ginger, and a little bit of lemon, water, ice, and vegan protein. Morning everybody! I've just had my shower, my hair is still a bit wet, and I've done half my makeup, as you can tell, because we all know my skin does not look this good. But that's okay, because makeup can cover everything pretty well, and yeah, whatever, I'm okay with it. Except for this one. Let's call this one Av. After the girl in school that bothered me so much and made my life kind of a little bit of a living hell. No hate though, I don't know her anymore and we've grown up. But anyways, Av has been here for about a week now and she is so painful and no amount of makeup can cover up her ugliness. She's just throbbing on my forehead, almost giving me a headache. Alright, now that we've discussed my skin issues, what I've turned on my camera to talk to you about other than to say good morning is to show you this package that just arrived. I want to share all these books that I order with you guys because I always love seeing what other people are reading and getting inspiration and yeah. Maybe you guys are going to like some of these and want to read them for yourself because reading is great. I got this one. It's by Leanne Moriarty and it's called What Alice Forgot. It is soon to be a movie. So you know it's good when it's going to be a movie because the script is that good. On the back, the author wrote, Is your life now what you imagined it would be 10 years ago? A hilarious reminder to hang on to the things that make you happy and let little annoyances go. I already love that. Alice Love is 29, crazy about her husband Nick and pregnant with their first child. So imagine Alice's surprise when she comes to on the floor of a gym and is whisked off to the hospital, where she discovers the honeymoon is truly over. She's actually 39 years old, has three kids, and is getting divorced. That knock on her head has misplaced 10 years. Now Alice must piece together the events of the lost decade and find out if it's possible to reconstruct her life at the same time. She needs to figure out why her sister hardly talks to her and how it is that she's become one of those super skinny moms with really expensive clothes. Ultimately, Alice must discover whether forgetting is a blessing or a curse and how to start over. The next one I got is a biography on someone who really inspires me. It's called Girl Boss and it's by Sylvia Amoruso. She's the founder and executive chairman of Nasty Gal. So it says, in this book, she shares how she went from dumpster diving to founding one of the fastest growing retailers in the world. She spent her teens hitchhiking, um, stealing, going through garbages for leftover bagels. By age 22, she had dropped out of school. She was broke, directionless. So then she took a job at an art school and in the lobby, she decided to start selling her vintage clothes on eBay. And then 10 years later, she's the founder of an executive chairman of Nasty Gal, a 250 million plus fashion retailer with more than 400 employees. She was never the typical CEO or a typical anything, and she's written Girl Boss for other girls like her, outsiders and insiders seeking a unique path to success, even when that path is windy as hell and lined with naysayers. Girl Boss proves that being successful isn't about where you went to college or how popular you were in high school. It's about trusting your instincts and following your gut, knowing which rules to follow and which to break, when to button up and when to let your freak flag fly. That sounds like another really good one that I really want to read, obviously, because I ordered it. And then I got The Girls. It's a novel by Emma Klein. And this author is quite young. It's her first book, Girls, Their Vulnerability, Strength, and Passion to Belong, are at the heart of the stunning first novel by Emma Klein, an unforgettable new voice in the literary world. This takes place in 1960s, and this is about girls, well, one particular teenage girl, I believe, and her obsession with an older girl and wanting to become like her. And I think the story is about a girl becoming a woman and all those crazy, thrilling, fun things involved with that. And then the last book I got is by Jodi Pico. My mom read like all of her books. Jodi's books were always on my mom's night side table and I used to take them sometimes and read them too. She's the one who wrote My Sister's Keeper, which is also a movie now and is an amazing, amazing book. So I recently want to get back into reading her novels. This is the one she wrote most recently, but I believe it was still written about a year ago. I think one year or two years ago. She's written so many amazing stories. I read a lot of them and I've loved pretty much every single one. So I already know I'm probably gonna like this because I love her writing style. I love the stories she thinks of and the characters and everything. Here's my lunch today. I'm having the same soup I ate last night. I got two of them and I just kept one in the fridge. So I just reheated that. It's a vegan minestrone soup. And I have some rice, tomato rice here and a little bit of avocado. Playing with her cat toy.
Hey guys, well, it's much later than when I last vlogged. It is now, it's now 8.30, oh, it's bright. It's now 8.30 p.m. and today has been super hectic, so I didn't pick up my camera, I'm sorry, but yeah, I was just too busy and now I'm late and I'm heading to dinner. I was trying to rush out. Um, I basically did my makeup in the taxi. So tonight for dinner, I'm meeting a group, big group of people. I don't know if you remember my friend Holly. She was in my Hanami video. I will link it below. Um, she is studying here in Tokyo and she's just finishing school. So she's heading back to America. So tonight is kind of her goodbye dinner. So we're all going to see her for the last time, maybe, unless she comes back to Japan. Um, so tonight I'm going to go with Sharla, B, Kim, Holly, uh, Mime was supposed to come but she's not coming now because we're all super late and it's, we're going to be eating like way too late and she has to work early in the morning. So yeah, we're heading to a restaurant, a new, kind of new restaurant. It's called A Ablish. It's opened by the group that opened Pure Cafe, if you know that vegan cafe here in Tokyo in Amonte Sando. So they opened another cafe called A Ablish and actually B made a video on it the other day. I will link that below. And the food looks amazing. So when we were deciding where to go tonight, I was like, let's go there because I've been dying to try it. So we are almost there now. I can't wait to see everyone and I'm super hungry. Charlie and Kim were getting their hair done and they're all meeting and then walking over here. I just threw on my Pig and Viper cap and this sweatshirt is from Adidas. It's kind of old this last season. And I've got shorts on from American Apparel and my rain boots from Hunter. nothing here yeah, exactly. but when it was working there were so many spots everywhere so oh yeah it was working at one time and then they, yeah. it stopped they, right? they turned it off so when it was working I got a Pidgey a Dojo a Pidgey and a Squirt yeah. Yeah. and um yeah so basically you just walk around oh, yeah. and and if you see like green, them. like green leaves going around it's Pokemon so you walk towards it and you have a chance to catch it and you just throw Pokemon oh, and you just go, so like, bad. You just go like that and then you catch Pokemon yeah. but the cool thing is that when you see Pokemon um, the camera turns on it's mm -hmm. like you're seeing it in real life oh wow so, yeah. but it's not working in Japan yet so, yeah. tomorrow though tomorrow morning 10am 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 what do you got? What's this called? Sibaki, right? Yeah, so it's like a skewer and it's got like all random stuff. So it's got like tofu, mushrooms, whole range of vegetables, and pita bread. Yeah. I got vegan meatballs, they're vegan gluten-free meatballs, and some brown rice. Everyone else got the suvaki. Let's watch it at home when it's quiet. Look at her selfie stick. <laughs> It's so long. It's longer than me. <laughs> it's taller than you guys. I like your backpack. It's cute. Oh, I got it in Korea. Ten dollars. Wow. You will have to blur my head. Is that okay? <laughs> Get out. <laughs> I'll go behind. I'll, I'll talk to you from here. Wait, I gotta say bye. Bye. Safe travels. Yeah, of course. You when you come back. Yeah, You'll for be back sure. Soon. Yeah. And then even so. if not, like, I can come to Canada. So. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, 
Oh, they're so yeah. cool. Oh, yeah, Michigan's pretty close. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like right on the border. Yeah, 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 literally. I didn't even think of that. You're so far from me, but yeah. Yeah. you're closer than me being in Japan. So when That's I go back true. to Canada, That's we'll true. be close. That's true. Oh, you come back to Australia. Yeah. No, I definitely want to. I'm even considering working there. Like, I don't know. Oh, you I know. Like, like, the atmosphere is really close. Yeah, really? Except everything there is like huge and deadly. No, not really. You can deadly. Yeah. Like, <laughs> says this no, 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 like, <laughs> what's deadly? Like, it was always like, I've never I've seen like, one. Like, bugs. And oh, bugs are huge and deadly. I've oh, never seen them. Is that true? Like, maybe if you go in the bush. Maybe. It must be out in the countryside. Sometimes you see kangaroos punching kick and stuff, but that's only in the countryside. Not in kangaroos city. punching. Punch oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But they, they punch and kick and they'll, and they'll kill you. Yeah. So just, yeah. just stay away. Wow. They're dangerous. And I always thought koalas were like the nicest thing they ever. are. They really? Are. People tell me they're mean. No, no, no. They're like, no, 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 <laughs> oh, I'll not vlog your hair. Did you get your hat? I have it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we need to talk about. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. I'm home now. I'm going to go home now. I'm home now. Hi, baby. I'm home now. And it's 12 midnight. Holly is so sweet. She's, she wrote us all letters. I hope she'll come back soon. I'm so thankful for that. I've met such a great group of people here in Japan. Alright, so now. I think I'm gonna go on Skype and call my Nana. Although half the time she can't even hear me. So it's just like, I'll call her and I'll ask her a question and she can't hear me. And then she'll just like be talking and I'll ask her a question and she'll just talk about something that I didn't even ask her. So it's just like a one way conversation of her just talking to me until she gets tired and then gets off. It's usually how it goes, but at least I get to hear her voice. A bunch of you were wondering um, how she's doing. And in case you don't know, I. I mentioned a while ago that she had a heart attack and we actually think she had it like a week before she actually went to the hospital and even when she went to the hospital she didn't want to go to the hospital my aunt forced her to go but like a week prior to it she was complaining of stomach pains and my mom brought her to the casino which is her favorite place in the world she loves playing those slots and she wanted to go home and that was the first time ever because she didn't feel well and she had stomach pain and um, she was constipated and like yeah her color was like really white and like gray skin like she just looked really sick and she was complaining of stomach pain which we now know is a sign of a heart attack and most people don't know that sign so I want to tell you guys that in case um, your grandparents or someone you know is complaining of that it could be like a blockage it was a blockage in her artery because I know like the numbing arm <laughs> excuse me I'm talking to them I know about like the numb arm and like those other symptoms, but I never knew that stomach pain was a sign of a heart attack. So yeah. So she had a big blockage. They brought her into the hospital and then they told her, you actually had a heart attack. And she was like, what? And then, so they had to, they found that she had a big blockage and they had to do surgery, but they weren't sure if she was going to be strong enough to survive the surgery. And then they actually had to send her to a different hospital for that. So they sent her, she did the surgery, she's back at home and recovering now, so everything is good so far. I'm still worried, um, but yeah, at least that heart attack problem is solved. And she always doesn't answer it the first time around. She might be at lunch. Hello. Alright, I guess I have to try her again later. So in the meantime, let's do the giveaway. Let me load all the com- oh. Uh, let me load all the comments again. Oh, also I want to say, um, maybe some of you think it's not fair to like scroll all the way to the bottom and then randomly go through because the ones who answered right away will be older and at the bottom and then the ones who answered like halfway through will be in the middle. But that's not true because I'm seeing here like they're all mixed up. Some at the bottom right now are from one hour ago, some are from three hours ago, and some are from a while ago. Um, so that's not really the case, but if you're worried about this, um, from now on, if I do a giveaway, you can answer as many times as you want. So if you want to answer like midday and also at the beginning of the draw, at the end of the draw, whenever, just like 
yeah, you can put as many times as you want. I want to be fair to everyone, so yeah, I can't read them all, but I don't want you to think that I'm just ignoring the ones who watched my video first and responded first. Okay, so I'm already up at the bottom. No more comments. Let's go. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna do 14 because that's my favorite number. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right. Ballet Val. Ballet Veil. If I could travel now, I'd love to go to Iceland. Such a magical place with fairy stories, nature, ice, northern lights. Oh, I love it. But I can't forget the first dream I had, which was visit France. I really love the fairy tale town concept. Sorry, I can't choose. I watch every video of your channel. Thank you for the giveaway. It is international. I'm from Ch Chile. Yes, it is international. You are the winner. Congratulations. I'm going to send you a message now and I will send your prizes very soon. Let's try Nana again. My name's Eileen. I'm so tired. I'm not sure I can wait any longer. It's like 1 a.m. Nobody's answering me. My mom's not answering me anymore. Oh, you farted. It smells. I smell good. Stinky ass. <laughs>